All right, today we got the GL 1700. We're gonna install this on our machine today. Typically your machine's gonna come factory wired, so you can just plug this directly in to the machine. Um, if it doesn't have this, you just need the battery box, and that's um, available online also. So this, this right here is gonna mount directly. We always mount it on the horizontal, not the vertical shaft. The reason we mount it on this horizontal shaft is as you move the head in and out, your dot laser is always going to stay centered with your head. If you mount it up here, every time you move this, it's going to disappear and you have to readjust your laser. So we're going to mount it right here in this location. To do that, first thing I'm going to do is release the pressure on my machine. And I'm going to pull my gun out. So it's out of the way. Set that off to the side. Simply loosen up your wing nut here that holds your horizontal gun cable. And we're just going to slide it on. What's nice about this too, it has a quick disconnect. So if you want to move it to the other side, simply loosen this nut. You can move it to the other side, keep it on this side whatever works. So today we're just going to be putting it on one side. I prefer to have one on both guns. If I have a gun on my machine, it's going to have the GL1700 on it. One thing I forgot to mention is this does have a replaceable lens. So you can pull this lens out, clean it, and put it back in, or simply just get a new one if you do get some overspray on it. So now we're simply just going to loosen this up a little bit. Slide it in. I like to bring it almost almost up to where it hits the cables. Then I'm going to slide it into the wing nut. Set this up a little bit. And actually I'm going to spin, I like to spin it around and have it on the back side because right here is where the gun comes and then the, the paint hose. So I like to put it on the back side. Next thing I want to do is make sure I get my cable ran. Make sure it doesn't get caught in any of my tires. It stays out of my way of everything. I'm going to run it actually on the back side of my pump here. I like to leave a little bit of play down by the gun. And I'm just simply going to plug it into this. When I plug it into here, now it's a live working dot laser. I'll just take this extra cable wind it up I'll just zip tie it up into here let's place it there for right now all right so we got our laser it's mounted we got our power cord which is all plugged in and it's uh, right up to the working switch now we're just gonna mount our gun and adjust our dot laser to the center of our line everything I do is center of line um, you can adjust it to the center or to the side whatever works best for you just gonna snug this up The other thing I, I like to do is make sure my gun is at a 90 to the ground. If your gun's tilted like this and you adjust your dot laser and it's way over here, that's going to throw off your long line laser and everything. So make sure your gun's at a nice 90 to the ground. Then snug up your wing nut. Make sure that's nice and snug. And now we can start adjusting our dot laser. I'm just going to get it close for now. I'm going to loosen up this one, loosen up this one. As you can see, it's sort of coming into play there. So I'm close. I'm going to just snug this up and snug this up. I'm just close right now. I'm not exact. Now I'm going to turn on my machine. I'm going to make a dot right here and I'm just going to center that dot laser. So right now I'm just going to put a dot or I'm going to make an auto layout mark and I'm going to center the dot laser to the auto layout mark. Now I'm just simply, you can see we're really close. That was my guess. So now I'm just simply gonna adjust that dot just by moving it just a little bit. And that's it. We are centered of our line. Dot laser, the GL1700's installed. And we're ready to start painting.